you are creative, but America, I do need you now to stop. Damn it, look at your life. This is what we're doing. You've donned a trash bag oh, God. to steal a package. This, you see those sneakers poking out and they wilded up. I must have been awfully hot in there. It had to be hot. I've worn a suit made of this. My trainer made me wear it one time and it was so hot. And I would say, please. He called himself the super trainer. I'm so hot in here. And I'm working out. And just, uh, can I take off at least this part and just leave the pants on? So imagine you really wanted that package. Omar Gabriel Munoz, homeowner, Sacramento, California. I told you it was hot. Had some items stolen from his porch. Who would do it? Uh, even he had to chuckle, big laugh. When he checked the surveillance system on Friday, Munoz was shocked by what he saw, someone hiding inside a trash bag, waddling up to his doorstep in order to steal a package. I don't even know what's inside. Munoz told Sacramento's ABC affiliate, KXTV, you see the bag coming to my door. At first I thought they were messing with me. Maybe it's school children let out early. That's what I was thinking. Is something wrong with you? Munoz said he got a notification that a package of two phone chargers worth about $10 had been delivered. Got home, there was no package. So he checked the security footage and saw video of the trashy porch pirate. Look at it. Here's another picture. Waddling back. Yes, here's something else. According to Bay Area Fox affiliate KTVU, Muno said, you know, at first I was kind of angry when I saw the video again. I, I was laughing because people these days have a lot of creativity. That's how I would have been. So far, no suspects. <laughs> <laughs> Munoz would love to meet the bag man, already knows what he'd say. That was a good one. I don't want to encourage thieves, but when you work this hard for it, Senator, (laughs) and you are Donnie, I have seen people buy things like this after going to fashion week. Because some people just, they're just going to do whatever is in. But this is, uh, should it be in some way, I'd like to harness this thief's creativity. Who could they be? Who are they? Sharon, this what one is going, in, it's, it's going in the Hall of Fame. Yes. <laughs> this one is going into the yes. Thief Hall of Fame. We just going to start a new Hall of Fame. Listen, it's, either this thief thought it was a high wind that day so he could pull off a garbage bag. <laughs> okay. Or we live in a world where garbage bags all of a sudden have feet. I mean, I just yeah. can't even call this. But yeah. yeah, this is going into the Thievery Hall of Fame, baby. <laughs> this thief going to get in the bag and it looks like. And I don't know this to be the case, but it looks like the bag is is filled out. It like does. there's more, like there is perhaps padding of trash or paper. Or more packages. Really hell. Lean he into packages it. under this chair. He making well, the you're rounds, probably baby. right. You're probably right. This is one of the last stops oh, where he got oh, these chargers. Yeah, I don't know keep what's an eye on this one, because if they correct. do it's this fool, they're gonna identify them tennis uh-huh. shoes. Uh-huh. Wow. <sighs> You're creative. Yeah. Sacramento police, I would advise with everything else going on in the world, stand down. We don't need to find a suspect, okay? If everything's not a let's solve this thing. You don't need to do that with everything. Sometimes you just do what Mr. Munoz did. You have a good laugh. He said he was angry at first, but then when he saw what went into it, he let it go. <laughs> 